Hey guys, Harsh here, back in the video. So welcome to this absolute mess of a project and I didn't have time to secure these wires together. So that's why I just uh, kept it very natural over here. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a very easy home automation project with your ESP32 and a 4 channel relay over here. And the good thing about this project is that you don't need any coding skills to make this project. Neither need to download any software. It can be fully done by a web browser. So as you can see, I have my dashboard right over here with a total of four switches for four relays over here and if I toggle one then you can see all the relay turn on and then whatever appliances that you have connected you can just simply power them with it so enough talking let's start building okay so for this project I am going to use this four channel relay over here and with this module I will be able to control four different types of appliances so let's say you have a room you have a tube light a CFL a fan and some other appliance that you want to control so you can control it with that pretty common that you have four switches in a room so this four channel relay module will be nice to have also you can use the dual channel or the single channel relay as well if you like or get the like bigger eight ones and then obviously here is our ESP32 that we are going to control it with as you can see I have added an external antenna this is a separate step you don't necessarily need to do it but you will get a slightly extended range with this one so that's why i have attached a separate antenna if you want to know how to attach the antenna just go to the description and check my video on that one as well so let's connect the esp32 to our relay so on the relay model as you can see we have total of six pins two are for the power of the relay and four are the inputs of individual relay so as you can see on the far ends we have ground and vcc ground obviously will go to the ground on the esp32 so it is right over here as you can see one is over here as well and some other places so you can choose any ground you like now to power it up you will be using 3.3 volts which is right over here although i would suggest that you will use a separate 5 volt supply for this relay because the these usually work on 5 volts so it would be nice to supply them with 5 volts but 3.3 volts will also do now we need total of four output pins for the input of the relay so in this particular example i am going to use pin number 26 25 33 and 32 so first of all taking the lowest number which is pin number 25 this one over here we will use it to connect the relay one which is input one labeled over here as you can see so we'll just connect it right over here then we will take the pin number 26 and connect it to the input 2 same as before and like this we can connect the pin number 32 to our input 3 and then finally the pin number 33 which will go to the input number 4 so just like that you can connect your ESP32 to the relay module I will give the circuit diagram in the description box below so you can cross check it with your own project now we can connect our appliances to our relay but for this version I am just going to use the 12 volt appliances which is going to be this LED strip with 4 individual cuts so each relay will control each section of the LED over here and as you can see they already have their wires pre-soldered to them so let me just tell you how I am going to connect them now in this type of relay module each re individual relay had total of three terminals connected to them so this relay will have these three terminals this relay has these three terminals and then so on we have terminals corresponding to their relays and you can see that each one of them have this uh, sort of lines going in between them so i'm going to explain just one and rest are the same with this one so you can see that we have this line coming out and this line coming out and then going straightly into this one over here so that means when the relay is off just like in this case the connection between these two terminals is closed that means if you try to pass electricity to them it will pass through this is what we call a normally closed connection but when we turn on the relay the switch will throw on the other side and connect these two terminals together this is what we call a normally open connection so whenever the relay is turned on the connection between these two will be closed and electricity will pass through them so for this particular example we are going to use these two terminals over here similar Similarly in this case for this relay we will be using these two terminals and so on for all four. Now there is one other term which is the common terminal which is the middle pin of every relay. So this generally holds the output in a relay. So each one of our LED will go through the middle terminals of each individual relay and then our power can go to each relay normally open connection and for that I have made this harness over here which makes the connection a bit easier. So let me just uh, connect them and show you how they work. So this is going to be our main power input as you can see I have connected all 
together in a single one so this will supply power to our board then we can take our appliances or led in this case and connect the inputs for each one of them in the common terminals and then each one of these grounds can be connected together just like so and then connected to the ground of the power supply so the connection between the appliances is also done now we can connect the micro usb cable to the esp32 head over to a computer and program it with the taskmota application okay so here i am on the taskmota main menu as you can see i am accessing it via the local ip address and if you haven't already installed the taskmota web server onto your esp32 then i would suggest that you check out my video in the description box below it is a very simple 5 minute process with which you can download the taskmota onto your esp32 and it is also a no code operation so once you have it installed just go ahead and click on the configuration and then click on configure module and here you can see we have all our gpio inputs and outputs so we are using the pin number 25 26 32 and 33 so 25 we need to set it as relay and what i have found out for my particular case is that the signal is actually reversed so i will need to select this option which is relay underscore i i basically stands for inverse it may not be your case but uh, it is good to check for yourself so all of them will be set at relay inverse now once you have set them up you can see we get this option over here which is for the button actually so all of them are set at one currently so only one button will show up i think on the main menu just change that to different numbers so that you can control them easily like so so 25 26 32 and 33 are set at 1 2 3 and 4 respectively and once you are happy with your configuration you can just go ahead and click on save this will restart the device and automatically direct you to the main menu again now as expected i wasn't getting enough power in the relay because of the 3.3 volts on the esp32 so i have to switch up the connection a bit i have now connected the power to the v in pin so that it will directly take the power from this usb port which is going to be 5 volts and that is enough for this relay so let me just show you the dashboard that i have now as you can see we get four buttons so if i to try to toggle one button you can see the relay will turn on you can hear the ticking sound and same with all others you can turn all four of them at the same time you can see that there is also a light on the relay which turns on so if i try to reduce the brightness of the studio you can see the four lights turning on and off as you can see and you can also hear the ticking sounds of the relay which indicates that they are either turned on or turned off and basically from here you can just power up any of your device you like they also have this rating over here as you can see so this is like their normal rating this is a 10 amp relay so maximum it can handle i think 10 amps of power so that is guys that's how you can make your easy home automation project and as you can see there is absolutely no code involved in this particular version just with few clicks and then you can start automating your home so thanks for watching the video guys hopefully you enjoyed it if you have any doubts comments or suggestion in for this video you can comment down below i will try to respond to them as soon as possible so as always I will see you all in the next one.